Hello, this is Matt and I'm back to discuss why do we do YouTube? Why do we make videos? What's the point, right? Some people do it to document their journey. They want to share what they're buying. They want to remember how they felt. What was their reaction when they did an unboxing? What were they thinking when silver broke $20, then $25, then slammed back down, and then almost touched 30 You know, you had this emotional roller coaster where you can do a video talking about it. Is SLV going to 50 I sure hope. Did I get the Morgan silver dollars? I sure hope, you know, this is fun. That's why we do YouTube. But what this also reminded me of was there's a lot of people, the grandfathers of this silver community that don't do videos anymore. A perfect example is Silverfish VT. He had 12,500 subscribers, 310 videos, and he stopped making videos six or seven years ago. He was part of that 2012 to 2015 generation where they were just coming off the 2011 highs you know everybody got disappointed and then the stackers started on YouTube right and it was fun I watched his very first video and I watched his last couple he was incredible a deep thinker put a lot of thought into his videos and his content still stands the the test of time right he was speaking the truth so I enjoyed going back and watching his, and on his last video, he explained why he didn't want to make videos anymore, because it's time consuming, right? So on that last video, I saw Salivate Metal and Losin' Louie, or Louie Silver now, but they had comments on there, and those were the only two names I recognized. So what I commend Silverfish VT and the others that were doing videos back then, they spurred a whole new generation. Again, Salivate Metal, where I saw, you know, four years ago he was spitting gold out of his mouth at the every beginning of every video. And I remembered that. I saw some of his videos. I said, man, this guy's crazy, you know? But it's awesome that there's a generational transition of knowledge we want to learn something and I don't want to watch the news I'd rather search YouTube and find things that either make me think or I agree with you know we got to find both right you got to find things that you absolutely agree with but you also got to look for opposing views and we have that in this community too I remember stormtrooper right he made a video saying super junk for 35 and 40 percent and that got me all excited and I was like why would anybody call it super junk? You know, and it, it, you know, I started getting offended, but that's part of the community. You have to have different opinions, right? Some people love 999 and four nines fine. Other people love 90% and 40 and 35, right? We all have different preferences and that's what makes a strong community. We're not all going the same exact path because then there's no excitement, right? There's no diversity, adversity, right? iron sharpens iron or you know grind you down or polish you up kind of stuff we get stronger when we have to defend our position and that's what's cool about youtube you're going to put content out there and not everybody's going to agree with you and i think that's why some of the other channels in the past shut down because you have to deal with so much conflict in the comment section. People disagreeing with everything you say or refuting you or calling you stupid. You know, it, it becomes kind of toxic. So the creators that put so much time into making these videos just to get beat down. You know, eventually after three or four years, they probably say, why am I doing this, right? You need to have endurance. You gotta be in it for the long haul. And we're talking about stacking, collecting, investing. It's all long-term stuff. And you have to be able to weather the storms. So thank you for being here. If you're a new content creator, you're gonna feel like you're on a treadmill. You're gonna keep putting out video after video after video, and only five, six, seven, eight, 10, 12, 15 people watch it. And you say, this isn't worth it, right? You're gonna say that. You feel like you're on a treadmill, you're getting nowhere, but just keep making videos. Do it for you. Again, this is a way for you to get the stuff out of your head, put it on video so that you can actually watch it later too. You can say, was I thinking correctly back then? You know, in May 2021, I was so hyped on that Morgan Dollar CC release. Were you crazy? Yeah, you were crazy. 
Another benefit of watching other videos is you start to pick up slang, like 1964 and B4, right? 64 and before, 90% silver. You can have 999 or four nines fine. Cool. Sterling silver, 92.5. One troy ounce equals 31.1 grams. You have obverse and reverse. You have mint state and proof sets. These are just common terms that you'll start to pick up and they just become part of your knowledge. You can create new words too. The Gaw King. Mad Stacker is the Gaw King. Leaving us Gawking. The Stacking, as in the Stack King. Or money becoming worthless. Worthless and eventually being worthless. You can have inflation creation or no interest, meaning no interest in your banking and leading to no interest in saving or behaving. The Fed keeping the interest rate low. Low interest means no interest in your savings account and no interest in saving. If you're not saving, you're not behaving, right? But we need to take our medicine. We need to raise the interest rates and it will cause the housing bubble to pop. The housing bubble leads to people in trouble. People are underwater. But we have to go through this short-term pain for the long-term gain. The other thing you get to learn about is common purities. In the U.S., it's easy. It's 90%, 40, and 35. You go to Canada, it's 92.5, 80, and 50. But if you go to Mexico, they had 10, 30, 42, 50, 72, 80, and 90. Mexico had all different types of purities. That's why Mexico is confusing. So I stick with U.S., again, 90%, 40, and 35, or Canada, 80, 50. Old school Canada, old school U.K. is 92.5. But it's just fun to hear other people try to explain purities. That's what we're in it for, right? We're here to learn. Another item that's fascinating is gold. So you have the gold buffalo, which is 24 karat. It's pure gold. It weighs 31.1 grams. It is one ounce, right? The gold buffalo. But if you go to the American Eagle, it's 22 karat. So 22 divided by 24, it's 91.67%. So the remaining is silver and copper. So it actually weighs more than 31.1, but within that coin, you still only have one ounce of gold. So the question is, you know, do you value that little bit of silver and the little bit of copper in with your gold? That's something to debate, right? Do you want pure 24 karat, one ounce gold, or would you like one ounce of gold that has a mixture of copper and silver in there? Your choice. So with the paper dollar, they're treated as ice cubes, slowly melting in your hands, and you have silver to soak up the liquidity, right? So you get paper money, and it's a time bomb, right? It's just melting in your hands, deflating in value, because inflation is happening. So your value, your dollar is going down, or you could think about it as the prices of goods are going up. But the fact is, you got to spend this money. You have to put it in a good place. So I recommend you invest. You put it in silver, gold, copper. Just sit on it, right? Once you buy those coins, you look at them, you enjoy them, you share them on YouTube so we all can experience the fun, and then you put them away for the future. Hopefully you don't have to go back to your stack, pull them out, and sell them. That's the goal, right? Anything you put away, once it goes in my stack, it's not coming back, right, Mad Stacker? That's a great line. Once it goes, it ain't coming back, right? So we do our best. We buy what we think we should. We hold it till we can't hold it anymore. And we hope to pass it on to our kids. That's the American dream, right, guys? So when's inflation going to happen? They say it's when the money velocity starts to pick up. We're pumping the gas. We're causing inflation, which I think will lead to automation, right? Prices are going up. Labor's going to go up. Everything's going up. Now, companies will have to move to automation. You don't need two or three people here. We need one person that knows how to run three machines. Automation comes in. Unemployment goes up. People now go further into debt or they're living off unemployment. It's a vicious cycle, right? 
So let's wrap it all up. If you have a YouTube channel, thank you for putting content out there. You're taking your knowledge and you're trying to share it or at least entertain others and get them involved in this hobby. That's my goal. I want to share this and if I connect with you and you like the way I explain things, you know, you share it with somebody else. And that's the way this thing works, right? We're building this hobby from within. This is grassroots type stuff. We're not, we don't have superstars, right? We don't have baseball players out there promoting silver and coins, right? We are our own community. So we put out what we can, we absorb everything we can, and we just have fun. So if you have a YouTube channel, again, thank you, and please continue to put good stuff out there. I know it's hard work. It's hard work coming up with content. It's hard work to produce the video, and you put yourself at risk. If I'm out here saying SLV is going to 50, and all of a sudden Silver turns down and Stack and Stormtrooper, you know, disagrees with me, and we have to, you know, battle it out, I'm going to lose, man. I know. He's got a trooper helmet. I don't. I'm just a Skywalker. I'm out here just exposed. So anyways, that's just for fun. I love having friendly discussions, friendly conflict even, because I think it makes you stronger. So I appreciate everybody in this community. I do want to give a reminder, shout out to all the channels from 2012 to 2015, that, that period right there. And I want to shout out all the channels that bridge the gap to 2019, 2020. This whole new generation, we would not be here if we didn't watch these other guys. So COVID, in a way, brought us all together. We were all searching for like-minded people or even, again, opposing views, but it brought us to YouTube. We're here, we're sharing our hobby. So I appreciate you being here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. You can create, you, now those has crossed, you're going to be keeping the, fuck, even though, hmm. <laughs>